Hello, it is Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com and uh, it's late on a Monday, Memorial Day, the start of a new vlog and I'm going to show you what I'm packing up to ship tomorrow. I'm quite irritated because my carrier pickup just didn't come on Saturday. So then I had to go through the whole holiday weekend, I've got all these packages that weren't picked up and now I've got another bunch of packages which obviously I'm not complaining about having sales but it does make it difficult when they just don't show up and you know people are waiting for their stuff so anyway uh, let me just show you these uh, few things that I sold um, sold this antique straight razor it's has a um, celluloid faux ivory cover and it's in really good condition. It is, um, uh, the brand is Engels. It's, um, F.W. Engels. And, um, that one sold for $28. And all of my prices are free shipping unless otherwise stated. Um, this is a 1920s era cast brass buckle. That sold for $22. And that may be plus shipping. Let's see. That is... That one is plus shipping. Mostly it's things that I listed a long time ago that are still listed as plus shipping. Uh, then we have this um, turquoise uh, Native American sterling silver ring. Um, that's uh, Zuni, I believe. And uh, that sold for 48 And this is the um, Ken, 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 Ken. Oh my goodness. What's his name? Um, Ken Edwards. Kept wanting to say Ingles because that's what that razor was. But uh, Ken Edwards is Mexican pottery, Tonala burnished pottery pendant with a little bird on it. Really unusual. I don't see a lot of this pottery made into jewelry. Uh, that sold for what? Eighteen? Eight? Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty-two. Uh, then we have this lovely antique Limoges plate. This is a J. Puya Limoges, or JPL, this is what it's marked. Uh, it's gold gilt. Um, it has kind of a, a pink luster glaze on it. It's really, really pretty. Dates from the early 1900s. And that sold for 29 And then uh, the last item is this um, Guatemalan Weeple-style dress with beautiful embroidered peacocks on it which unfortunately has some condition issues. So I sold it for really cheap and the buyer is hoping she will be able to rehabilitate it. What happened is it had a stain and I decided I had to wash it and all the, the red dye ran from this and, and just made a mess of things. And I just quit while I was behind, didn't try to fix it. And uh, so hopefully some people are really good at fixing things like that. Um, so I will see you tomorrow when I will be more presentable and I will put my shiny little face on camera. Hi there, it is Tuesday and I'm going to show you a few things that I got listed. I haven't been doing much listing the last few days. I've been trying to get caught up editing video. I'm determined I'm going to get all caught up and start fresh so that everything will be timely again. Won't that be nice? But meanwhile, let me show you what I listed. Uh, well, this is just terrible, but I've only listed a couple of things. Um, this is a really neat brooch with this very unusual... I don't know if it's a stone or glass. I think it's a stone. Just because it's, you know, kind of irregular markings. But it's possible that it's art glass. But I think it's some kind of agate. And uh, this is a gold tone. It's, um, it's just pressed steel, but it... It's a really pretty 1960s-ish brooch. What the back looks like. No mark. And I listed that for 
19. <laughs> and then uh, this is the um, Danecraft Black Onyx and Sterling Silver. That'll be a 1950s, uh, late 50s maybe. Uh, lovely little brooch. Uh -huh. Just trying to, oops, fix it so you could see the, uh, there, now you can see the mark. Has the little R for the registered trademark. I imagine that's 1950s or later. But it's pretty. Um, that I listed for 47. Um, and that's it. That's all I've listed. Oh, terribly embarrassing. So, here's what I'm packaging up tonight. Um, this is a, a booklet from a, the Panama Pacific International Exposition at San Francisco, and this was in 1915, and it's got these absolutely fabulous lithographs of all the uh, buildings. Look, wasn't this just, oh, wouldn't you have loved to go, be there in 1915 and see all these wondrous things? Look at that. Wow. Just beautiful. 1915 happens to be the year that my father was born. So even he would have been too young to see this. <laughs> but it's a beautiful book. And uh, that sold for $27. Okay, also I'm wrapping up this really pretty, um, what's his name, Gerald Stinn? Is that the right name? Uh, yeah, Gerald Sten is the maker of this. He's a studio artist in Southern California. This is a hand, I think it's hand hammered, little brass modernist bangle. That sold for 34 And then this uh, sweet little um, silver tone starfish, sea star, I guess is the proper name for it, uh, and rhinestone little pendant necklace. And that sold for 14 plus shipping. And this sold to one of my regular customers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. And what did I say this sold for? This actually sold for 22. I forget what I said, but I may have said the wrong thing. Okay, so here's what I am packaging up tonight to ship tomorrow. We have uh, this cool necklace that's made out of like a nautilus shell. It's on a big heavy gold tone chain and that sold for 18 plus shipping. And uh, this is a turquoise and coral Navajo sterling silver ring. And very unusual looking one. And um, that one sold for 77. And then lastly we have a pewter plate with a, I believe that's a grouse on it. And this is made in Germany. Uh, this was a, I guess it goes, he goes this way. There, now you can see him. That's better. Um, this was a gift many, 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 many years ago. Um, eh, get tired of looking at things after a while. It's really pretty though. Um, that sold for, um, where are you? I'm going to tell you... 28. Hi there. It is Thursday, just after lunch. Just got back from my walk, and I'm going to show you what I listed uh, yesterday and today. We have some brooches that I got from eBay. Uh, this one is um, probably not terribly old, maybe 1970s. Um, has a two-part clasp. Anyway, really pretty uh, glass stone, kind of a faux amethyst almost. Not really purple enough to be an amethyst. I guess it's more of a dark pink. But anyway, kind of a Victorian style. Uh, that I listed for 24. And this is an Art Deco style, but I think probably much later. It's like a faux marcasite. <laughs> It's, this is cast. I think that it was probably cast from a real Art Deco brooch. It's got a great stair-step design. It's got a nice look to it. 
and it's nicely made. Um, and that I listed for 19 And then we have this um, heraldic uh, coat of arms type brooch with two lions and a sword. I don't think that's a real coat of arms of anything. I think it's just fictional. <laughs> but it, it's a neat brooch. It has kind of an Edwardian look to it. I don't know what the real age is. I suspect it could be something like 1930s just from the construction of it. Might be a little more new, a little newer than that. I uh, listed that one for 19. It does have some wear. If you look really close, it's got some wear to the um, to the lions. I did touch things up a bit with a gold leaf pen. I think I made it look a little better. Um, then in here we have oh, look at that great embroidery. Uh, this is a um, Guatemalan shirt and pants outfit. It's got some drawstring pants and uh, embroidered. Uh, this is more of a structured, not the usual weeples I list, and a structured shirt with long sleeves. It's really nice in a largish size. Um, that I listed for 49 And then we have... Um, now, I may have shown you these before, and if I did, I apologize. But we have an African kente cloth, uh, kind of a throw, very large size, very beautiful colors. This, this is done on a very narrow loom, and then the strips are sewn together. It's from West Africa, probably Ghana, and um, uh, it unfortunately has a huge stain. Well, a, a, a persistent stain, I should say. It's not huge, but um, you could cut that part off and you would still have a sizable piece that's in really good condition. So anyway, I listed that for, I believe, 55 and I, that's in my um, Karen Lebo shop. And um, these tablecloths, uh, drawn work, two very small drawn work white linen tablecloths. One of them has an, a monogram of MT. It's beautifully done. And those I listed for what, 20, 24, 29, 20, I can't read my own writing, maybe 27, <laughs> sorry about that, <laughs> okay, that's it for now, here is what I am shipping off tonight, we have this little, uh, kind of a Victorian style little locket with all these fun chains that are all in one, all in one necklace, graduated chains, that was only $15 plus shipping. And that was to one of my best customers. Thank you. And then uh, these are sterling silver and aquamarine earrings. Those sold for $36. And then this a lovely sterling silver bird necklace. That sold for $29. Oh, it is Sunday morning. And I don't know that I shot any video yesterday, but I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday. And I've had a whole bunch of sales, so I'll be able to show you those in just a little bit. Okay, so uh, some alert YouTube watcher, a couple in fact, uh, pointed out that this is probably a bolo tie. Um, I turned it into a pendant, but you could also have it be a bolo tie or... You might be able to turn it into a brooch. It's a it's an absolutely beautiful old silver and uh, turquoise concho embossed. Uh, I listed that for forty eight, and uh, then this ring, which is carved from a single shell. Um, what did I list that for? I can't remember exactly. Um, I'll tell you in a minute. This this um. Foot Joy golf shoe keychain. I did a little research on Foot Joy. Apparently, if you're a golfer, you know who Foot Joy is, but I don't golf, so. Uh, but anyway, it's a company that's been around in some form or another for like 150 years. And it has been Foot Joy at least since the 20s, which is very interesting. Uh, cute little keychain. I listed that for 18. And then this little glove clip. 
I listed 425 and then let me tell you what this ring is it is a 22 it's a nice big size too so here is Long Beach under curfew we have an 8 p.m. no it was 6 p.m. to 5:30 a.m. curfew in effect because of the civil unrest not too far from me but um, I guess people around here don't take curfews too seriously because everybody's just all over the place still everybody's driving I've seen the skateboarders and the bicyclists and the pedestrians walk past with their dogs and so yeah I don't know but anyway I'm gonna show you what I'm wrapping up to ship off tomorrow hopefully I'll show you cute kitty first. Muffin! Hi! Hi! Aren't you cute? Okay. Alright, uh, the first thing we have is this um, African basket. It is Nigerian and it's um, probably pretty old. I don't know too much about it. I did as much research as I could. Um, I believe I got this at the flea market for about $20. And I sold it for... Oh, where'd it go? $188. I have had to wait a while for just the right buyer to come along. But they did. I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's see. We have over here in the linen department, we have... Oops. Ugh, what a mess. And another embroidered tablecloth. I think this is another Eastern European. Um, it's got some beautiful inset lace and embroidery. Anyway, it's really pretty. Uh, $29 on that. It even has some napkins, I think. And then I also uh, sold this absolutely uh, giant, well, it's a queen size, white crochet bedspread with long fringe very nice piece also I've had that for a long time that bedspread I sold for 135 it's been a very good weekend um, let's see what else do we have uh, the fetish necklace the Zuni fetish necklace which I just listed recently sold to one of my favorite YouTube peeps she bought it for hundred and ninety nine dollars so I was worried that I had paid too much I'm very happy that it's gone to a new home so quickly I uh, also sold which came in the same YouTube lot this really cool ball pendant necklace and I sold that to another of my favorite customers and um, let's see the ball necklace which did turn out not to be silver probably already told you that uh, that sold for, where'd you go? I just was looking at it, $34. Um, I sold this, uh, bolo tie slide with a saddle on it. It, it's not real copper, but it really looks like copper. Um, the bolo sold for $14.50. What an odd price. I usually never price things other than whole dollar prices, so that's very weird. Um, let's see. I sold these two coin pendants. One is an Irish coin from 1928. One is a British, a UK, an England coin with Queen Elizabeth on it from the 1960s, I think. I think this is, yes, 1960s. Anyway, I sold the two of those together. Um, those sold for 19 together. I sold this itty bitty little pocket knife, which is actually a really nice one from Germany. It's got the maker name and everything. Tiny knife sold for $15. And I think that might be everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Um, Oh, 
I know what's missing. I sold a micro mosaic brooch. Let me go get it. And last but not least is this little micro mosaic brooch in the shape of a loot, I guess. And that sold for $24. And this will conclude my weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't to see more of my haul videos and daily vlog or weekly vlogs rather and um yeah oh and comment if you like all right that's it thanks have a great week bye